Hello and welcome you beautiful saplings of life and light. My name is Lisa Lyle and this is day 15 of Solstice Blessings, 21 Days to Rebirth. So how are you all enjoying the offering and how are you all doing? Look at this, 50-50, light and dark, both. Um, we are the gray matter in between um, this world of duality. So today I have been guided. First and foremost, thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome. If you've been traveling with me for a while, thank you so much. I know the lighting's not great. I really felt called to be outside today and to have these beautiful cedars in the background. And perhaps there's gonna be some distractions. We're just gonna move through this. Um, and really stay in our place of personal power in every single hour and minute that we are alive. So I'm just going to burn some Palo Santo here. You may hear my dog rustling around in the back behind the cedars. And I'm sure the sun is going to move as we get into this. It's 104 in the afternoon here on Friday, December the 15th. So this video, I feel really compelled to share a little bit about myself and my story and particularly what inspired this 21 day offering and, and virtually my reemergence or reappearance on um, social media platforms and this channel. 2023 has been a rather introspective year and I, you know, a year full of a lot of changes. And so at this time, I'm really aligning myself with my higher self and an unconditionally loving source. And I ask that I'm courageous enough to share a little bit of my story with the intention of offering hope and inspiration to those who may come across this message whenever they do because the story won't change. <laughs> well, what had the story as it's going to be shared today is not going to change. It's going to change a lot as we uh, continue to roll forward. So what inspired this offering um, during December of 2023 is back in December of 2018, quite suddenly and unexpected, on the 21st of December, I, we, the world, lost um, a great human. Uh, and that great human, I was fortunate enough to be loved by and to love in the flesh. And um, the past five years has shown that that love still exists, it grows, it's supportive, and um, it didn't die. It didn't die with the physical vessel. So we're approaching that anniversary, the fifth anniversary of Frank's transition. Frank was my partner in life for a very short time. He um, was a man who came into my life and the life of my son and um, changed things in so many ways for the better and he was a blessing. And so this, one of the things um, that, you know, supported me in knowing that Frank was my person at that moment in time was our shared birthday, August 29th. He was born five years earlier, and he always said he came to the world five years ahead of me to prepare the world for me. Um, so that was a little inside joke. Um, and so this year on our birthday, I, I, there had been a lot of anticipation about this because this year I was turning 53, the same age as Frank was when he passed. And so it's been um, a year of a lot of uh, getting out of the head and into the heart. There's been a lot of, um, as a Virgo, I'm naturally um, analytical and 
uh, can often be in my head to my own detriment. And so there's been a lot of head games going on with Lisa Lyle um, in 2023. And as I celebrated our season of rebirth, things began to shift. And they began to shift in uh, for the better. Personally, for me, because I believe that I was called back home to remember me and who I am and um, the gift, uh, the gift of life and the gift that our life is to the world and our light is to the world. So, oh, did you see that? That's weird. Um, anyways, <laughs> scared me. Um, and we're all these gifts to the world. And I feel, I, I felt compelled to uh, do this offering. I was guided at 555 to make some changes. And the changes began with the way I cared for myself on a daily basis. Um, you know, in the last decade of my life, I went from having um, almost two decades of sobriety, 18 plus years, to uh, nearly not having my life and that was back in I don't remember maybe 2021 uh, one morning I woke up and I was incredibly grateful to be alive and by the grace of God and uh, the will of my higher self uh, I haven't had a drink again since December or uh, March of 2021 I believe around the equinox it was so, um, you know, with that being said, I really wanted to, um, I've really been guided, not so much that I wanted to, I've been guided to come back to my heart space, to come back to the remembrance of who I am and why I'm here at this time, and to really heal the heartache of the past so that there's forward movement and uh, you know the next half of my life can be lived from this space of harmonic balance from within uh, a trusting the inner knowing of our wise and wonderful beating hearts and knowing that we each have our own um, pathway of purpose in this lifetime and if we're very lucky and Frank always used to say he was a very lucky man if we're very lucky we will have the courage to walk the pathway of our purpose in this lifetime and move beyond the heartaches and move beyond the limitations of the mind so that's briefly <laughs> um, why we're here this month uh we're coming up to that uh, 21 days on uh, the solstice the days are getting shorter and then after the longest night of the year we begin to return to the light and the simple fact um, is that we are the light so for the last few days i've been reconnected with um some oracle decks that I haven't used in quite some time and they were created by someone who's been a tremendous support and um, inspiration in my lifetime and they are the healing power um, the healing energy cards by Leanne Peters from Temple of Balance if you haven't yet um, connected with her work go please do go check her out um, I don't have any of her jewelry on today but jewelry oracle cards books uh, pottery and there's another um, chemtrail the, the it was a beautiful beautiful sunny day until rather recently um, the chemtrails have been um, they've been throwing them down and so we are literally living underneath the weather and many people are feeling under the weather at this time and I would encourage you to practice the breath of joy and I did it back there on maybe day three of this offering and I look forward to sharing more breath practices with you as we um, welcome in this new season, this season of um, reflection, this season of rebirth, this season of regeneration, which is winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, as we prepare ourselves for our abundant and fertile rebirth in the spring. So working with these cards today, I just thought I was going to pull some cards for myself. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to connect with you all today. And um, 
didn't know what was going to um, be put out there and come through today. And then uh, after getting myself all ready, uh, I decided I was guided to pull some cards for myself from these decks. And the first card that came out was number 23. I'm not really sure if you can see this greatly here. And it's the bridge bridge between heart and throat. And 23 is my number of the divine masculine. And so as soon as it came out, I was like, oh, you know, this is so beautiful. And it's come up in the last few days in videos 323. Um, and I've brought this up. So this really was this was clear that we are here to be the bridge of heaven on earth. And we are, through our courage and um, our overcoming of obstacles and heartache in our own lifetime and healing, we are being called to the path of service using our voice, sharing from our heart, sharing our stories, sharing our stories of heartache so that we can begin to, with vulnerability, with compassion, with humility, open up our hearts again to receive love. We are all so worthy and deserving of love. I mean, come on. Life is too short not to be living our best lives. And so, I you know, that in a nutshell, go forth and live your best life. The message on the card says healing of the throat and heart chakras, share from your heart, past traumas seen as positive lessons in the now, say what you feel. And when we do this, it's incredibly empowering. I, I'm not sure that anyone's even going to watch this video. Um, and yet I trust that if you do, something here will touch the beautiful heart that beats within you. The next card out, of course, was number 48, which reduces to a 12, and this is playfulness. This is what we are here to live. Oh, Rex, that's a big piece of driftwood. Um, we are here to, there's another chemtrail, they're like overhead, and so in this moment, I ask that we all use the power of our intention and our awareness to transform this deception in the sky, to droplets of consciousness that opens the human heart, mind, and inner eye to support the rise of humanity to, the right, to their righteous birthright, abundant with riches and creativity, playfulness, dancing, singing, love, all of these things that us children of God, us children of light, deserve. It's, it's, um, it's not for the faint of heart to be courageous. It, it, takes, it takes courage. We have to break down the walls of our ego. Um, we have to be willing to chip away, chisel away at the, um, the hardening that our past heartaches have created around our heart and and particularly those of you who are very rounded in the sh shoulders rolling our shoulders back and down chest proud allowing our heart to lead the way tipping our chin sl slightly towards our chest uh, in an act of reverence and humility to the greater consciousness that moves through us all we breathe this consciousness in you know, um, take the masks off. Allow yourself to be seen as the beautiful child of light that you are. I keep looking here um, when I should probably be looking there. You probably can't see that anyways because of the way that the lighting is. So I'm going to try to keep looking there. Playfulness. The message on the card is surrender to the moment. Laugh. Enjoy life. Play and have some fun to help lift your spirits. You will feel so much better after doing something that nourishes you. Creativity. And the so both of those cards were from the original deck which I've had for years and years and years and the next card comes from the Healing Energy deck part two and um, it is really beautiful and it is number 109 Own Your Power this very hour. You are sacred. Your whole life has been sacred. And there's this beautiful sea turtle um, swimming here and the sun is rising. It looks like dawn. It could be the setting sun. And the ankh 
is in the middle here, the Ankh, which is, can be used as a tool of creation. I, um, oftentimes when I see the Ankh, I see it, um, inverted or perhaps the right way, um, with the, uh, the belly, if you will, below. And then we've got the fallopian tubes and the spine. And this really just speaks about creativity and the ancient wisdom that flows within us when we are courageous and willing to tune in to the wisdom of the inner voice. To not get caught up in the entanglements that are, you know, a part of human life, yet finding our way through the inner vision, the inner wisdom, the inner heartbeat to um, unravel, unravel our way through life and particularly through our own roots. Um, because when we do that, when we bring the focus back to self um, in a non-egoic way, in a way that is honoring who we truly are, there's a softening that takes place. And this is true power. And, you know, many of you at this time may be experiencing digestion issues, trouble with the solar plexus, upset tummy, um, all kinds of things. Because this is the power center. This is our inner sun. Trust your gut and do what needs to be done, especially if it's, if you're being called to do things that support you to feel better. Um, this card is a 109, so it comes to a 10. And uh, 10, 1, new beginnings. You know, completion and then the new beginning. Um, and we can even look at the onk kind of as the 1, as the long piece as the 1, and, and the belly as the 0. And so what is it that you would like to create? What is it that you would like to create this season? And what are the things that you can do on a daily basis to bring your creation through. The message on the card is move forward with strength, strengthen yourself, take ownership of your power in a healthy, empowering, and proactive way. Proceed. Yes, and I would say proceed with faith. Take that leap of faith and know that the ground is stable underneath you. You haven't lost your footing. You haven't lost. <laughs> you haven't lost. You're still here with a beating heart, right? And although we've lost, you know, people and loved ones and, you know, relationships all that we loved and we experienced pain, it's time to release ourselves from the grief that has been, I'm going to say, the bane of this human experience and allow ourselves to be free, allow ourselves to once again open up to experience the joy of a loving, giving heart, the joy of being um, alive <laughs> and, and allowing ourselves in doing so, we are allowing ourselves the universe is giving us permission to thrive. Are we going to allow ourselves to thrive? It's 121. So again, there's that symbolism, 1221, right? We are the channel of light. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? You know, because if your life or the life of someone you love was suddenly and unexpected, no longer a life within the flesh vessel, how are you um, how will you navigate? How are you going to, what is going to be left? Well, I can assure you, love shared is, is left and it grows. Okay. Is there one more card here? Be brave enough to come home. Be brave enough to do the things that the child within would love to do. You are a good child. You are a worthy and deserving child of light. Okay. 
Okay, what I'm seeing with these cards, so we're working with the Tree Angel Oracle, just a few cards to close this up. Um, if you haven't yet taken part in the Solstice Specials, um, which is either a yearly reading uh, for, for 2024, um, a yearly reading in Angel Messages or Grounding with Gaia, plus there's all kinds of healing sessions available, please do go check out my website. The Solstice Specials are available for the next three days, one, two, three, on the clock for the next three days. So one, two, three, giddy up, go hop on over to my website, lisalyle.com and see what tickles your fancy. And it is my honor and privilege um, to have the opportunity to connect and share with you in a in, in a one-on-one -on -one expanded way with our teams of light who never disappoint. So what I'm feeling, I showed you this, the Tree Angel Oracle. So the cards that came through, the first card was the Elm, number 15, which is a six. Six is our path of purpose. Six is our home. Six is the house of Virgo, our health. Are we paying attention? Are we listening within? Uh, are we, you know, perhaps there's a need to clear up the home space, clear out the clutter. Because if there's clutter within the space we're living, there's, um, you know, we're not going to be high functioning, especially for those of you who, like myself, are highly sensitive uh, to energies. Um, space is, uh, the, the home space is my nest. It's like I'm a mother bird and or a mother bear, and it's my den or it's my nest, depending um, how, on how I'm feeling on any given day. So really taking care of the home space, and that includes your physical body. Um, yes. And anything else? Oh, what I'm seeing here is all these, like, in the tree, I'm not sure you can see. Maybe this will be the thumbnail for this video. But in the tree, there's all these faces. And I'm feeling like it's saying, you know, one of them down here, one of the people here looks like they're meditating. There's a lot of elemental energy. So remembering your connection to nature, the trees, the birds, um, singing in the trees, <laughs> all of that. Uh, as well, it's saying to... This may be a time, is there a woodpecker here? I think there's a woodpecker. Any, anyway, um, it's saying take some time to honor all um, versions of yourself through, because uh, the only way that we have overcome grief, the only way that we move beyond grief is to love ourselves more and to show up for ourselves in um, these dire moments where we feel like, you know, we, we, we can't take anymore, we can't do anymore, life's not worth living anymore, all of this stuff, really coming back to that place of empowerment um, through sending all these versions of ourself unconditional love, and particularly that inner child that may not feel worthy and deserving of love, which is why at this stage, um, we haven't claimed that which is our divine heritage and our divine birthright. And the final two cards, so we have the apple tree, number two. There's that two again, standing on our own two feet, the high priestess, trusting our intuition, allowing our intuition to guide us to make better life choices, um, allow, being, uh, allowing our intuition to encourage us to be brave, to go for the path that, that is more loving and more kind and opens us up to more playfulness and fun in this lifetime. And the sweetness of life, look how golden, this whole thing, this whole card is golden. Again, you probably can't see it great here, but it's all golden. There's a little bit of red, like goldy red apples. And this goddess here, this tree goddess, the apple tree goddess is just lit up. She's lit up, she's the tree of life and light and each season she's growing right with each season she's growing and then we have finally um, the cherry tree and it's number 34 which reduces to a seven which speaks about the physical body so back to the elm um, paying attention 
to our intuition, paying attention to what our body needs. There, For some, there does feel like this is a season of cleansing you know for many this is a season of overindulgence and oh we'll deal with it in the new year for those of you are here who are here I feel that this is the season of empowerment why wait why put off until the new year what you can begin to establish routines that you can be begin to establish in your life today so that you can enjoy more sweetness so that you can enjoy your favorite things sitting under a tree in the moonlight i feel that um the cancerian new uh, full moon on december i believe it's the 26th this year the year that frank passed it was on that day <laughs> the longest night of the year and the cancer full moon um Perfect, 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 perfect for the path of healing and the trajectory, tra trajectory of my path of service in this lifetime. So I'm grateful for it all now in hindsight. At the time, it was um, a devastating time in our lives. Um, so as I connect with the cherry, I'm just hearing, well, first of all, back to the Cancer new moon. I feel that that's a really powerful one for us to work with. We just had our Sag new moon. We've, we're in Mercury retrograde. Venus is doing something up there. I mean, we've got a lot going on. The sun is popping off left, right, and center. Um, major solar flares yesterday, December the 14th. So if you were feeling tired, you, you may still be feeling that today. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Lots of liquids. Again, if you can get to nature, um, eating as your body requires, trying to avoid the, the triggers like the, the um, cravings right and especially see the squirrel especially if it's crave the cravings are unhealthy cravings i'm not saying you know don't allow yourself to have the sweets or the salty or whatever it is that's your thing um don't try to limit those kind of things and and reinforce the positive things that support your uplifting and your pleasure that you're able to experience in life. Because I feel that by the time we get to the Cancer New Moon on the 26th of December, there's going to be a lot of changes that have taken place within each of you. And what a blessing that will be to the world and first and foremost to your very own life. So just as we close out here today, thank you so much for, if you're still here, for being here. Hit that thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share some love, and um, let's help each other to continue to grow into these magnificent trees of life that we each are. So going forward, I the intention is to continue these 21-day offerings. So if you, who is still here, have any suggestions, anything that you would like to see as a 21-day series in the coming year, please do drop it down below in the comments or drop me um, or send me, fire me off an email and let me know and I will do my heartfelt best to make your um desires a reality so this is a you know this these relationships these connections although we don't know one another some of us do many of us don't it is the stories of our heart that we share with one another that grows our connection and that my beautiful um siblings saplings um trees of life brothers and sisters in light that is why we're all here so i hope that something here has touched you today and inspired you to courageously go forth and bring your dreams your creative dreams into your reality until tomorrow i see you i feel you i love you thank you so much for being here until next time take good care